And they're already trying to eat, I can see. That must have been the one pecking the whole day. I didn't want to take them in. Hey guys, so I just got the call from the post office about 30 minutes ago. The sun's just coming up now that our chicks from Cackle Hatchery are finally there. Hear him in the background. What do you know? Well, yeah, I just picked them up. They're very noisy. I want to make sure that I can get them home so I can get them on the grill. Some sage and some basil. They sound like they'd be pretty tasty. So. And before I put them in there, here, go ahead and show you guys the setup. Just took two pools from Walmart, little kitty pools. These are about $7 a piece. And basically bolted them on top of one another. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, isn't that one pretty? Wow. And they're already trying to eat, I can see. That must have been the one pecking the whole day. I didn't want to take them in here because I was uh, heating up the heater and I wanted to make sure it was at full, the brooder anyways. So I kept them inside where it was warm for a couple extra hours. And there's been one in there. Man, that's some green poop. Mm. Been eating a lot of spinach. All right, let's go ahead and get them in there. We had one little baby that didn't make it. Poor little thing. I was hoping maybe he was just asleep or even sick, because you know, even a sick bird can be taken care of, but he's, he's gone. And we'll go over here. And they sent us a couple extra, I think I counted, including the, the one that passed, 2021. 20, um, they immediately figured out what the food was, and they figured out what the water was. You're supposed to dip their beak in there, which I had intended on doing. Uh, the water is really warm. And actually what I did is I took a uh, one of these uh, hand warmers and put it underneath the water reservoir just so it stays warm for about the next 10 hours. And then I'll do that again tonight and then tomorrow just for the first few days um, and every time we change their water we're going to give them warm water because it says it helps their and obviously we used a brooder rather than a heat lamp i'm going to see how that goes i've heard a lot of good things about that but if they don't get under there and quiet down after a while i'll go out and get a heat lamp from tractor supply but yeah, this is them so the little ones here the little bantams those are silkies little white ones um, I believe the brown one and the uh, chipmunk there, that's uh, Easter Eggers. And I'm pretty sure the striped one here is, yeah, it's got to be a Houdan, Hodan, I don't know, French, so I'm sure I'm butchering it. But uh, anyhow, yeah, they found the water right away. So I'm going to go out and bury the other little guy that died. I'm an animal person, so I don't, I don't want to... I see some people toss him in the trash can, but I feel that's kind of disrespectful. So I'm going to go out and bury him real quick and then come back later. But here they are. Oh, and I also have some barred rock, which I'm not sure. I'm guessing the black one. Really quickly, I should go ahead and mention we got five splash silkies, uh, three hodans, sudans. Um, those are the two that weren't sexed. The rest are, I think, I believe three Easter eggers, um, and then and those were all female, and three barred rock. I believe that's it. It's hard. It's honestly hard to remember. But there's they sent us 21. We ordered 17. One of them passed. I just got done burying that one. Um, so right at 20. And yeah, this is them. It came with a little thermometer and that. All together, total including shipping was $100. And um, yeah, that's it for now. Hopefully another video tomorrow or sometime soon.